Hey, it's me, Bastian, and I've got a question from Alex Mungai Muchiri. I think we already had a back and forth in the YouTube comments of my podcast, so welcome back, Alex. The question is, how easy is it to invalidate a software patent? What is the threshold of prior art required? Great question, Alex. Mm, two points. So, firstly, on the one hand, I guess there is no special threshold for software patents as compared to any other type of patents. Uh, the invention just has to be just has to be novel and um, non obvious, which in Europe at the European Patent Office we call that it has to involve an inventive step. And um, the prior art, at least in Europe, is um, we have the 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 concept of absolute novelty, which means that The prior art is everything which was um, accessible to the public before the priority date of the patent application. In any form, written a disclosure, oral uh, a disclosure in a podcast, for example, uh, in a video, in a presentation on a trade show. Everything that was publicly known before the priority date is prior art for any type of invention, also for a software invention, and the invention has to be uh, novel and inventive compared to that prior art. So, from that point of view, no special uh, things to keep in mind for software patents, really. One difference, though, that comes to mind, and that's my second point, um, in Europe we have the special situation that um, once the European patent is granted, it kind of explodes into a bundle of national patents, at least now, uh, while we don't have the, the UPC yet. There is some movement here, but that's uh, another story. So, uh, right now the situation is that ultimate, ultimately in Europe you end up with um, separate national patents, national parts of the European patent. And every national part can have its own fate after the European opposition um, period is over. Uh, if you want to invalidate uh, the German part of a European patent, for example, you have to go to the Federal Patent Court and um, file a nullity complaint. And in this nullity complaint, in this national invalidation proceedings, um, the court, the Federal Patent Court, the judges will apply uh, kind of the German legal framework for um, assessing the patentability of the invention. And there are some subtle differences. Um, the Federal Patent Court and uh, the European Patent Office say that um, both, both frameworks are quite aligned. That's true to some extent, but in the details, they really differ. So it can be and happens from time to time that a European patent is granted because a European jurisdiction says, confirms that, yes, there is an inventive technical contribution. Later then, in the national, for example, German invalidation proceedings, the patent is revoked because that uh, uh, judicial body, which is another um, entity than the European Patent Office, concludes that the invention is non-technical. Um, Alex also had a second question about how to defend against an invalidation proceedings, uh, but I do only one question per video, so I'll save this for another day. Um, I hope this made sense. I guess this is my answer. I'm Bastian Best. I'm a European patent attorney helping companies make sense of patents for the digital future. And um, if you've got a question, put it in the comments below and I'll add it to the queue. In the meantime, I guess now is the perfect time to watch one of my other videos. Bye-bye.